light snow falls as Air Ontario Flight 1363 stops in the remote northern community on its way from Thunder Bay to Winnipeg. Temperatures hover around freezing. Visibility is decreasing. If the flight doesn't leave soon, it could be grounded indefinitely. Finally, an hour behind schedule, the plane taxis to runway 29. Advice Kenora. Captain Morwood performs a brief engine run-up, heating the engines to rid them of any accumulated snow and ice. Then he begins his roll down the runway. E1. The F-28 reaches its takeoff speed. Rotate. 80 knots. Clearly, there's something wrong. The F-28 struggles to get airborne. Within 24 hours, a team of investigators from the Canadian Aviation Safety Board arrives at the scene. To solve the mystery, they comb through survivor and eyewitness statements. A common thread emerges. They said in their witness statements, there was snow and ice on the wings when the airplane attempted to take off. Roa studies weather charts for clues. The charts show that during the half hour the F-28 was on the ground at Dryden Airport, visibility shrank from four kilometers to less than one kilometer because of the snowstorm. Investigators consult the F-28's manuals to study its anti-icing systems. They find that only the wing's leading edges are protected. The aircraft had heated leading edges on the wings. I wonder if the anti-icing system was working. And the heat was provided by bleed air from the compressors on the engine. They... The anti-icing system was working. But since it only heats the leading edge, it likely didn't clear ice that formed on the surface of Flight 1363's wings. Investigators suspect that snow and ice buildup, what experts call wing contamination, may have played a major role in the crash. Fokker engineers have run simulations of the crash. They were able to get some very good data in terms of the performance of the airplane simulating the type of loads, temperatures, etc., that the Dryden aircraft would, would have been exposed to. Investigators make a crucial discovery about the design of the F-28. Because of the angle of the wings, a very small amount of ice makes the plane susceptible to stalling. Answers a lot of questions. The simulations support what witnesses saw. <laughs> Investigators are now certain that contaminated wings caused the crash. <laughs>